in the lab update on the twin turbo truck build twin turbo OBS all right got the motor back in after the explosion got the transmission hooked up <clears throat> so the headers that I'm using uh, they're forward facing uh, basically universal LS headers but in order for me to get the uh, turbos to fit I have to take out this link here to have the room in between my fans if I still want to use the same same fan and uh, radiator setup and I do because it's a uh, you know it's a be cool radiator you know it keeps my engine temps down pretty good so I already started on one of them let's show y'all what I'm looking like all right so I cut this middle section out here and I'm gonna reattach the flange and that's gonna give me the clearance I need to get these things mounted up um, the only problem that I see that I might have right now is uh, you know mounting for the O2 sensor bung I think I'm gonna just, I think I'm gonna just stab it right here or I'm gonna put it in the truck and see you know rotationally which direction I want to put it but uh but yeah we're gonna get this here and that'll give me the clearance I need for the turbos all right, y'all, let's go for a little ride in blue. We're gonna go get some gas in there. Whenever I got it back running, and I only put about two gallons in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and run to the door. Hopefully she makes it there and back okay. But, you know, I wanna get some gas in there while she's sitting. You know, cause uh, y'all already see I had that last issue <laughs> with fuel. And the tank was bone dry. I'm thinking all my fuel pumps and everything was shitted on me. And it didn't. doing the construction over here so we got a line of people to fucking wait on before I can even get in it might be fucking 10 minutes <laughs>
told y'all what I'm going for. Y'all see how laggy she is, like coming off a standstill? Like I gotta get this transmission uh, worked on. It definitely needs some attention. So we're gonna pick up our, we're gonna do our daily little, uh, little beer run, gas this thing up, head back and keep working on the truck, y'all. Look a lot better than I do. <laughs> you know, as the page gets a little better, you know, I'll be doing a lot more, you know, walking around stuff. But as far as I'm concerned, you know, my page is for, you know, the work I do to my cars. A little look. She got some damage. Like I said, when I first built her, ball joint, uh, ball joint that stripped out, caught the rim up in the fender, and then months later did the same thing to the other side. That's the reason I'm taking the uh, the lift cups off the front, and I'm dropping, slamming the whole car, and we're gonna drag race it. You know, I should have bought spindles whenever I uh, whenever I was building the car, but it was my first lifted car. <laughs> I didn't know the I didn't know the 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 downside of going with the lift cups, but the downside of the lift cups, and I will never run them again, is that they uh, they put too much tension on the springs. And with the big wheels and the tension on the springs, whenever you're doing that turning and that weight gets on them ball joints, it literally, you know, pulled the ball joint nut off of my lower ball joint and sat the car on the ground. And they did it on both sides. Here's the damage to the other side. This side wasn't as bad, but it's concave right there because the wheel got caught up in there the exact same way. And I was like, man, y'all are destroying my car. So these lift springs are destroying my car. So they're coming off and the car is going to be low. You know, but for now, you know, she's still on them sixes. So, and I don't drive her because the transmission's uh, not doing acting right. So, you know, she can look like this for now.